This will be a quick overview of how to install Pavre on a Windows machine. That means Windows XP or beyond. So go to Google and type in a search for Pavre. And that should show you the Pavre website, so click on that. And there are a bunch of interesting things that you could look at there. What we're interested in here is downloading the program. So search, look uh, down a little bit and for the download page. Click on that. And then do a little bit of reading there. And we want to find where we can download it for Windows. There it says Windows Binary. So download the Windows installer. And as you can see, when you do that, it takes a little while to bring the file in. So you have to wait until it's finished loading. And once it's finished loading, then you can click on that program there. And that brings up the Welcome to Pavre for Windows Setup Wizard. So click on Next, and you see a license there, so click on I Agree. And it chooses a destination folder. We'll stick with their default. It'll go into the program files under Pavre and version 3.7. So click on Next, and you see another location window there, and it wants to put some information in the user's documents. So accept that, click on Next. And then you see a Start Menu folder. We'll use the default again, click on Next. And it says Ready to Install, so click on Install. And there are two check marks there. Apparently you need the editor DLLs, dynamic link libraries, in order for the editor to work. Display change list, uh, we'll leave those checked. And click on finish. And you see something that says, do you want to run or save Pavrin editor.exe from pavre.org? So go ahead and run it. And when it finishes, bringing it in, it brings up a notepad file telling about changes. You can close that. And then you see Pavre for Windows Editor DLLs. The installer will add the Editor DLLs. Click on Next. And agree to this license again. And then the installer works at it and when it's finished, you can click on Close. Now, once that's done, what you want to do is to go to your Documents, and if you look closely there, you see that there's a folder called Pavre. So double-click on that to open it, and you see V3.7. That contains all kinds of stuff, some scenes, textures, and various things that you can use. But for your programs, you want to create a new folder. So click on New Folder and then give it a name. Let's call it My Scenes. And once you've done that, you can close the folder. And then on your desktop, you should find an icon for Pavre. If you don't find it on your desktop, you can go to Programs and even do a search for Pavre. Click on the Pavre icon to get Pavre started. And then you will probably see several windows there. You might see the changes.txt, the revision.txt, and so forth. You don't have to read those now. You can always open them later if you wish to. So click on the close button to close it and do the same for revisions.txt. That leaves you with the messages window. That is going to be an important window in the future, so don't bother to close that. What you want to do is click on the New button right now. That gives you an untitled window, so we're going to try to save that just so that we can migrate to the My Scenes folder. 
So we'll click in double slash nothing. That's a program that does nothing. And we're going to try to run it. So if you click on the run key, it says file untitled has been changed. Save it. So we'll click on save there. And we have to give it a name. Let's uh, give it the name nothing. And oh, we got to open the my scenes folder and then give it the name nothing. And then click on save. And you see some other message windows. You can tell it, don't tell me again. You can click on that and click on OK. And another one output has been written to a location. You can click on the don't tell me again and click on OK. This way, when you run Pavre for future programs, you won't have to worry about those little details there. And that's the end of setting up Pavre.